Magdalena, New Mexico, a town weathered by time and nestled along the path of USHWI, 60 stands as a testament to the fading echoes of the Old West. Founded in 1884, it once thrived as a bustling hub of cattle shipping in the untamed American Southwest. Legends whisper of a Spanish priest who named the nearby mountains after the revered Mary Magdalene, while others claim the town derived its name from the striking rock formations that bear a resemblance to her profile. Today, Magdalena remains a semi-ghost town, a living relic of the late 1800s, where the spirits of the past linger amidst the crumbling remains of abandoned home sites. With a population of around 500, it stands as a testament to a bygone era. Yet in the early 1880s, when Kelly boomed nearby, Magdalena was but a humble watering hole for cattlemen and a stagecoach stop along the Socorro route. But fortune smiled upon Magdalena when the Santa Fe Railroad extended its reach from Socorro in 1885. In the blink of an eye, saloons, dance halls, hotels, and restaurants sprang up, and sheep and cattle ranches dotted the surrounding countryside. The railroad, originally intended to serve the residents of Kelly, inadvertently breathed new life into Magdalena, transforming it into one of America's foremost cattle shipping centers. Nestled on the eastern edge of the vast San Augustine Plains, a sprawling grassland stretching over 100 miles, the town became a beacon of commerce and opportunity. Yet, as the mining town of Kelly met its demise in the 1930s, a part of Magdalena followed suit. The town straddling US-60 now wears its scars openly. Abandoned buildings crafted from adobe and wood stand as silent witnesses to a bygone era. Weathered by the relentless forces of wind, rain, and scorching summer sun, these structures teeter on the edge of decay. Surrounding fields and yards once bustling with life now offer a hidden trove for those seeking relics of the Old West coins, jewelry, and cultural artifacts waiting to be discovered amidst the remnants of forgotten dreams. Magdalena, a town of faded glory and enduring spirit, remains a testament to the wild and untamed spirit of the American frontier. As the winds sweep through its deserted streets, they carry with them the whispers of a bygone era, inviting the adventurous souls to step back in time and uncover the stories etched within its weathered walls. One fine spring morning, my friend and I embarked on a journey to the town of Magdalena, Leaving behind the comforts of Albuquerque, we set forth on a dusty trail, driving 75 miles south until we reached Socorro. From there, we turned west onto the well-maintained US-60, a black-topped road that would lead us to our destination. As we ventured deeper into the heart of the rugged landscape, the majestic snow-capped mountains captivated our senses. Magdalena awaited us, nestled to the north and south of US-60, which transformed into First Street within the town limits. A bustling hub, it boasted a collection of businesses that catered to the needs of travelers and locals alike, motels, service stations, restaurants, and more. The Magdalena School, a consolidated institution, offered education from grades one to 12. Yet it was the old Magdalena Inn that held the town's historical charm. Erected in the early 1900s during the height of prosperity, this magnificent brick structure stood just a block south of US-60. Two stories tall, it once housed a saloon, a grand dining room, and a lounge where tales of the West were spun. The upstairs rooms and the sprawling porch on the western side were witness to countless stories of ranchers, miners, cowboys, politicians, and wandering souls. Today, a mere ghost of its former self, the inn has found a new caretaker in Thomas Daves, a man with dreams of restoring its former glory. Armed with our cameras and metal detectors, we explored the unpaved streets of Magdalena, seeking out abandoned buildings and other remnants of its past. Determined to uncover history's hidden gems, we combed through the fields and yards surrounding these structures. It was a patient quest, but one that yielded rewards. My companion, Norman Eaton, and I made multiple trips to Magdalena within the span of a month, refusing to give up until we struck gold and gold we found in the form of forgotten treasures from the days of yore. Amidst the debris, we unearthed a Morgan silver dollar from 1896, a large scent bearing the date 1828, two Indian head scents from 1863 and 1870, a mysterious 30 piece with an unreadable date, a half dime dating back to 1857, a nickel from 1882, two seated Liberty dimes from 1873 and 1857, 
and a prized ceded Liberty Quarter from 1861. Magdalena, a town steeped in history and brimming with untold stories, had shared its secrets with us. Our journey had not only enriched our knowledge of the past, but also kindled a desire to preserve the legacy of this once thriving cattle shipping center. As we bid farewell to the fading echoes of the Old West, we carried with us a sense of gratitude for the opportunity to be part of its enduring tale. During the Great Depression years of the early 1930s, President Roosevelt created jobs for many people with the WPA program. It created work for America's large number of unemployed people and provided them with meals and a comfortable place to live. The government constructed barracks-type living quarters for them, and after the Depression was over, these buildings became abandoned and fell to ruin. To our surprise and enjoyment, we found a small group of abandoned WPA buildings in South Magdalena. The dirt yards around them were loaded with old coins dated between 1928 and 1945. We found 28 coins there in just a few hours' time. The majority of the coins were wheat cents, but we also found some Jefferson nickels and a few mercury dimes. During our travels around the old town, we also found something that would be of interest to those of you that like old cars. In a dry wash on 10th Street just west of Maine, we discovered the wreckages of many old cars from the 1940s and 50s. They are just sitting there along the banks of a dry stream, rusting away from climatic effects. Magdalena is one of many old towns in New Mexico that have proven to be a treasure hunter's dream come true. Most of the old buildings in and around the town are not posted against trespassing, but you should always obtain permission from the owners before rummaging around. If you plan to visit Magdalena sometime in the future, stop by and see the old ghost town of Kelly. It is just two miles south of town, and at one time it had a population of over 3,000 people. It is now totally abandoned. We also plan to check it out on one of our future trips into the area. If you are interested in Native American culture, the Alamo Indian Reservation is just a short distance from Magdalena on New Mexico State Road 169. Magdalena's newspaper is called the Mountain Mail and has been in existence since 1888. I'm sure that old copies of this publication would be of great interest to Western history buffs and treasure hunters. It is published monthly. Since some of the larger cities in New Mexico are located quite some distance from Magdalena, a good place to stay would be at the Woman on the Mountain Inn on US 60 in Magdalena. Good luck and good hunting.